up ladies and gentlemen it's your boy and welcome back to my tesla have you noticed the theme we're doing a lot of tesla videos these days and i hope you guys are enjoying it because you know i am because i just love my tesla so much that i destroy the windows Okay, I swear I love my Tesla. It, look, it's fine. See, the windows are fine. They're back to normal. It was all done safely. I know a lot of you guys are stressed out about it. And we're back with another great Tesla video. But this time, don't worry. I won't be hurting my car. I won't be destroying any... Well, no guarantees. But I don't plan on destroying anything, at least right now. But today, we're going to be letting my Tesla get some payback. It's going to decide how I spend my money for 24 hours. So they just did an update on the Tesla not too long ago. That gives you a whole bunch of new features. I'm gonna show you guys a few of those so it's a little bit of like a Tesla update review video But don't not that sounds boring. That's not what we're actually It's just a small part and it's really interesting Trust me And we're gonna be using those features to help me decide what I have to buy for the day rather than try and explain it all Let me show you so up here. We've got home work hungry and lucky I don't know what it does actually I forget but it's like I'm feeling lucky and it, it's gonna give me a location to go to let's try it out Okay, Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica. So that's like one of the famous churches here in Ottawa. I think it's the most famous church here in Ottawa. A lot of people get married there. So it's like a sight to see. And that's what the I'm lucky feature does. It gives you like a random place to go to. So it's actually kind of cool if you're trying to find something to do on a date. It is Valentine's Day yesterday, Jay. So maybe we're going on a date today. Anyways, basically what we're going to do is drive to whatever spot comes up on the map when we press I'm feeling lucky. And the first place we see that sells technology, we have to pull in a little pit stop and check it out and then when we get in there we have to buy something that starts with the letter t after we do the first door then it's e then s then l then a until we spell tesla and we see what kind of weird tech we end up with make sense i know kind of complicated but you'll see as we go let's head to the notre dame cathedral this is also like an ottawa tourism video that's what this is gonna turn into all right let's go okay folks we're on our way to the church i don't know if they'll let me in to be honest okay i'm a good boy but we're going to the church right now i don't see anything that would sell tech i see some buses you can't buy anything in there i see something do you see it we're pulling into the best buy we're gonna look for the first item we see once we're in there that starts with a t i can't even think of it tv oh my god i'm not going to the tv section i'm not i'm not i'm not we already did i already did this last week i'm not buying another television this is the first time we're not like running in frantically with crazy over the top I mean, should we do we should probably do that go oh! You're really gonna make me open the door every time. Okay guys, we walked in. The TV aisle, I've been here before. It's on the right side. I'm avoiding that like the plague. And we're gonna see if we can find something else before we stumble our way over there. It also counts as the brand too. Like so either T as a brand or T as the actual product itself. I actually can't think of anything off the top of my head besides the television. We'll go to the gaming section. Hopefully I can find something that I actually want. Try and be smart about this. Nintendo, Xbox, something with a T. I'm like really nervous about looking anywhere right now. I didn't look, I swear. Is there anything Apple? Any of the iPhone, Apple products? Start with a T? I don't know if there's anything that... There's something very expensive in the Apple store. A tablet, an iPad. Technically it's a tablet, it would still count as a T, but it's like a thousand bucks. We are dodging that, hell no. Shit, I just looked at a TV, oh my God. Okay, the one thing I said not to do. How did I end up in T? Okay, all right, we're gonna look around for a TV and see what we find. I. $3,300 for a TV. This is 75 inches. No, no. I get to pick, okay? I, there's got to be something better. 700 is, a, it's a bit better. St still not really. Oh, 159. Never mind, that's the Echo. That's the Amazon Echo. 2,800. 2,900. Yo, why are we in this aisle? Why are we starting this challenge like this? Yeah, this what do we do? What do we do? Yo, I'm actually stressed. trying to snake you with all these expensive TVs. I found the goods, 150 bucks, baby. Brand new 24 inch TV. You don't need 76, you don't need 86, whatever they are, you don't need that. Look at it, Tom Clancy, Netflix. What more do you need? I'm getting there, yeah. I'm, it's, let's just get out of here. We got our first item. I want something to eat, something to snack on. So we're gonna just interrupt our trip over to the cathedral with this other app that we have here on our Tesla called Hungry and see where it forces us to go. 
Of all the places that they could recommend we go get food, McDonald's is what pops up. That's like the most stock option. Aren't they supposed to be showing us new places? Part of this is, I guess, like a 24-hour eating challenge too, because our test is deciding everything we do today. What we buy, what we eat, because that's I buy that too. So we're headed over to McDonald's. Okay, so we're headed to the McDonald's right now, but we're actually also going to another mall. The first spot that you can buy tech in this mall, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna get our E, just to get it out of the way, you know, before we even go to the Notre Dame Cathedral, because that's gonna take a while. EB Games? Shit. <laughs> Shit, I actually forgot that that was right there. Oh God, we can't even get to the McDonald's to get food before we run into a spot. It's an E too, so it works. EB Games, does that mean we can buy anything in there? I can, I can do whatever I want, all right? I need to buy something that starts with the letter E. You have to buy everything my Tesla tells me to buy. Oh, sh you seeing this, Jay? It's Overwatch. That's lit. T-E-S-L-A. No, no. Doesn't work in any of the letters. Beyblade. I might just end up buying a bunch of them. Okay. No, starts with E. Come this on. This guy's Daniel. smart. This guy's smart. An Etch-a-Sketch. Throwback tech right there. All right. That counts. It's tech. We'll Done. take it. Done. Yes. Come on, fam. If that's not a dub, I don't know what is. Cheap and some cool old tech that I'm sure everyone is really excited about. Shout out to the guy in there. You hooked it up. It was either that or an Embryon plushie. This is a better option. And look what it says. I did it all just now. What? We're going to go to McDonald's right now. Hopefully, we don't run into anything else that we could buy stuff at. And we can just get some food. Oh, no, no, no. The McDonald's is in the Walmart. You're going to be kidding. Oh, come on. Are we even going to get to the cathedral at this point? All right, we've got to find something that starts with an S in the Walmart. And then we can get our McDonald's. Can't wait for my iced coffee. I just realized we're on S and everything is S. Samsung, Sony, Super Mario. There's so many S options. I'm trying to keep my eyes controlled so that we don't spend a shit ton of money again. We're in the tech section, let's see what we find. Does this look familiar? Sega, Sega Genesis S. Now this is like the real deal version of what we got off Wish. This is actually made by Sega, not a knockoff one. And it does have all the games on the back here. So hopefully it works better than the one we got from Wish because that one, well, if you guys remember what happened to that. It didn't end so well. Uh, I guess this is what we got to get. How much is it? 99 bucks. Oh, I hate this challenge. So we can hook up our new TV to our Sega. We've got our own little gaming station set up. This is going better than I expected. I really thought by this point we would have spent like $1,000. As much as I said I hate this challenge, it's not so bad. Did I even tell them I just bought like $3,000 with the iPhones? No, yeah, I did that. This isn't bad, this isn't bad. All right, we managed to get our McDonald's successful, well, kind of successfully. Remember I mentioned I wanted my iced coffee? They don't have, what kind, how do you not have iced coffee? All they had was regular coffee, so I might have to make another pit stop for some more McDonald's iced coffee somewhere else. But I think it's time to finally go to the cathedral. Hopefully we don't run into any more stops on the way. <sighs> Wish us luck. Bro, look, it's a Tesla. You're, you're filming your food. <laughs> Bro, come on! Whose car has a whole game system in the whip? Tesla's a vap. Mario Kart, but for Tesla. Yo, okay, I'm just destroying everything in my sight. Holy, this is hard. This is hard. This is... <laughs> oh my god. I'm just murking birds. <laughs> Yo! Thank god I put it on chill mode. There's no way I should be with- oh! oh! my! Oh my god, there's eggs on my- Oh, I'm hitting palm trees. Oh, I got hit with the ice cube? I'm wavy with the ice cube, though. And I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I'm dead again. Oh! You see those spike balls? Second place? That's not so bad. Bro, we have a two-player system in my car. Don't ever tell me charging the car for 30 minutes is a pain in the ass and not worth getting. Anyone who says it's bad for road trips is out of your head. You could literally post game, watch Netflix, yeah, play video games, yeah. I'm doing 24 hours in my Tesla just for funsies. Just because I could do this all day. I'm just chilling in first place. I'm just shooting balls. Oh my god, that was wavy. This is literally just Mario Kart but Tesla. That's wavy. Tesla cuts. You ain't catching me, baby. <laughs> you're right in front of me. I know, but you're not catching me. First place. I did I did have a slight advantage. You could actually play two player. Okay, are there other games? This was when it was just Tesla Atari, but Cuphead's probably lit. You can connect to Wi-Fi on your Tesla? Oh my god, this is the best car ever. Elon, I love you. I'm getting your name tattooed on me somewhere. Slabels are ringing out by the sea. Sending a message of love and sympathy. All right, folks, we made it. This is it. 
You see it? Okay, cool. There's like an art museum here too. It's like cool stuff and everything, but it's freezing. We drove really far to get here for really no reason. I have no desire to be here whatsoever. So we're gonna get back in the car and go somewhere else. <sighs> Can we do a Tesla road trip for a video to Florida? Look, Jay can't even do Okay, okay. 100K likes, we'll do a Tesla road trip for 24 hours and we'll just see where we end up. Drive my Tesla for 24 hours nonstop. Oh, we're back in the car now. See where we're going next. I'm feeling lucky. All right, we're going to the Aviation and Space Museum. Joy, okay. All right, guys, so we're like halfway to our next destination. And as I suspected, I don't know if we're gonna run into any stores, so we might just have to buy something at the Aviation Museum. Just everywhere where we are right now. Run into something up here, but I think this is all just residential area. We're basically just driving now unless there's a store in the middle of this forest somewhere not gonna go there but uh yeah see if they have any tech at the aviation museum okay so we're uh at the aviation museum cost us 33 bucks to get in and we're gonna see if we can buy anything in here something tells me we're not gonna have any luck excuse me are any of these planes for sale can i buy this can i buy this can i buy this are these for sale is this for sale? Can I buy this? Yes, you can't really buy anything in there, but I did find this little model plane in the gift shop. It doesn't start with the L, but it doesn't really fit our Tesla requirements. And we also got an ice cream sandwich, space ice cream sandwich, ready to eat freeze dried space food. We're gonna test that when we get back to the office, but we've gotta go to our next destination because we didn't find anything on this part of the trip. We still have to buy something that starts with an L. So let's see where we go next. A piano hydrant? What even is that? I guess we're going to a, the piano hydrant. I have no idea what, what we're going to, but hopefully we find some stores on the way. All right, guys, so you're finding new things in your own city I never knew existed. Apparently, we have a piano fire hydrant statue right here and that's what we came all this way for. I guess there's just like a fire hydrant theme on this street because we have a rose fire hydrant here. We didn't even notice, Jay just pointed it out. I don't know how many more there are. We still don't have any tech stores yet, so we might either just get something not tech or I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll keep you updated. We got some. Starts with an L, Lazzle. I guess it's not tech, but well, we it's cold and we needed something. Plus, Jay's getting old. He's gonna need these soon, you know? <laughs> All right, so we got some polls for when Jay's knees inevitably give out on him in the next three to six months. And now we're- I kill you! I'm hungry. Jay's hungry. It's time to find some more food. I'm hungry. All right, we got Red Lobster Vibes. It really is some Valentine's Day vibes. It's like I'm taking Jay on a date to Red Lobster. I bought him some poles for his knees and oh. stuff. There's gonna have to be a Jay age reveal now. <laughs> so do you guys still even want to see Jay's face? Let me know. And then we'll do a Jay age reveal. Comment down below how old you think Jay is. At Red Lobster, we're gonna eat. All around there's no one but you. I hit the spot, as they say. It is now time to see where our next location is. I'm assuming we're gonna be able to find somewhere where we can buy our last letter. Let's see where we're going. Feeling lucky. All right, looks like we're headed towards another museum unless we get stopped on the way. Let's see what happens. Guys, it does not look like we're gonna make it to the Canadian Agriculture Museum. We are passing a shopping mall. Folks, we're at the mall now. I know a spot that has tech right behind Jay. It's called The Source, so we're gonna go in there. I don't know what A thing they have in there. There's one thing that stands out. I don't even know if they have it in there, but comment down below what you guys think we're gonna find that starts with the letter A. This is the last item we have to buy. I'm hoping we can end without spending too, too much money, but you know, that hope never really seems to come to fruition on this channel. So let's just go in there and probably spend a thousand dollars like I know I'm about to. Open right now, we gotta buy something that starts with the letter A. And I'm trying Apple. not to look at Apple because I know what that means. <laughs> Steer clear, it's all over the place. An adapter? Is that that's That's yeah. yeah, technically. That's pretty good. No? That's a good one. Alloy. I kind of snapped. That was aggressive. All right, we've got all of our stuff here. We're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing to finish off the video, show you everything we got from our Tesla buying challenge. And if you guys want me to keep this going, be sure to smash the like button. Let me know any ideas for future Tesla videos you wanna see in the comment section down below. And if I use your video idea, I will give you a shout out. So go comment, reply to my pinned comment with your ideas. Okay, we'll start off with what we most recently purchased, the Acer gaming monitor. 
Now this ended up costing 200 bucks. There was a little sale on it. So not bought, not bought. Oh, this is lit. What? Damn, this thing is wide as hell. Consider this my new monitor. I thought I was gonna let somebody else use this. Nope. All right, folks, the gaming monitor is assembled. I think we made a pretty good purchase. Like, I did not realize, I didn't even know what it looked like. To be honest, it just said Acer and we had to buy something that started with A. Worked out pretty good. Now, to go along with that, we also have our new alloy core RGB computer by HyperX. So I can, you know, take my Apex gaming just, just a little bit more seriously. If you guys saw the keyboard and mouse I was using right now, you would, you would judge me. Bam! Now we're ready to rumble, folks. I don't really know what to do with this, but it looks clean. You can see them. That's a, that's pretty much it i'm gonna hook them up and i'm gonna use them you guys know how it works i don't need to show you all that this is actually smaller than our monitor but it's a tv i don't really know what we're gonna use it for but we'll figure something out i think maybe we'll just hook up some of our old consoles to it it can be a fun little tv to play those on because realistically you don't want to play those consoles on a screen this big anyways they get so pixelated it was 50 bucks cheaper than our monitor that's kind of crazy tvs are cheaper and smaller than monitors now all right, we've got our little mini TV set up. But before we test it out, we got to unbox a few other things. The thing we're going to test it out with needs to be unboxed. You know, as much as this feels weirdly small, I feel like this would be a great kitchen TV. I remember when I was a kid, rich people had kitchen TVs. And I never had a kitchen TV and I always wanted one. And I feel like this would be the perfect thing to have. Though I don't really know why I would ever have a kitchen TV, but that was the thing. I remember when I was a kid, if you had a kitchen TV, you were cake. But we've got our other items here, our etch a sketch which look what it says now now it actually says it so please go down and like the video what we're really trying to look at here is our sega genesis i'm pretty amped to try this out to be honest i want to see how it compares to the one we got off wish oh my god the console is tiny look how small it is it can practically fit in the palm of your hand high definition graphics throwback vibes we can hook it straight into our tv I wonder if I could actually do it right now. Okay, we've got our Sega Genesis. Oh, come on, this is wavy. Sonic 2, Shinobi, Street of Rage 2, Omega Man. I feel like I've done so many throwback old gaming console videos in the last like three videos. <laughs> this isn't intentional, I swear. Oh, they have Street Fighter. Oh, what? it's tossed, my G. Hey, Jay, don't forget these. That was some vibes. I actually, it works better than the Wish system. It's got the legit games. It's clearer. I think it actually fits the screen pretty well. I think it's official. This is our OG gaming console screen. Maybe we'll set it up beside this one. So uh, you can play two different games at the same time. You know, it's a great way to... I don't know what I'm getting at, really. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Basically, this will be our OG system screen TV kind of thing. Last thing to do is taste test a astronaut ice cream sandwich. Oh my god, this is a mess. It still looks like a regular ice cream sandwich. It just seems like the the ice cream is hard. Everything's hard. That's what she said. Probably actually not bad. Oh my god, it's like a cracker. I think this was actually 100% a real ice cream sandwich at one point and they just freeze dried it. I thought maybe they made it this way intentionally, but it's not bad. I could definitely see this being a delicacy when you're up in space, but guess what? We're not. So I would just always stick with a regular ice cream sandwich. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I was going to review the polls, but Jay needs them. So I'm just going to leave them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Toodles!